So my grandma, she would talk about church, she would go every week, and so hearing her talk about that, I would always wonder what happens, like what happens if you believe, like what happens when you know all this stuff, and so I would always wonder like how that all would piece into my life. My name is Valerie Chicas. I'm in eighth grade. I go to Washington Irving Middle School. So my name is Asusena. I am Valerie's mom. My background with church in general is going to church five times a week with my mom. So I knew when I had Valerie and I had discussed it with my husband that we wanted to give her a basis of who God was. We would go to church, but it wasn't that like frequent because I didn't feel comfortable. My parents like, they didn't really feel comfortable. We did want to start attending consistently, but it just, it didn't happen. My friend Abby, she invited me here. Slowly I just started coming more and got my parents to come too. And then I got involved with my life group. We're here to su support her, but also find that joy that we need, that we were looking for. Last summer, two weeks before camp, my grandmother had died of cancer and I was super sad. I didn't really want to go but I decided to go and that maybe it'll help me get my mind off of things so I went. So when Valerie got back from summer camp I remember vividly we were sitting at the couch and we were just talking and I was asking her questions like what was your favorite day, your favorite activity and she was in the middle of telling me what her favorite day was when she just blurted, oh, and I accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Everything just felt like different, it felt better. Just like waking up, I knew that God had let me wake up that day and that I knew that he was like watching down on me. And I was just like, oh, that's so, that's awesome, that's great. And she was like, I, you know, I felt the Holy Spirit. I felt the presence of grandma, I felt everything that just confirmed that this is what I wanted to do, but she wasn't telling it just like a regular story. She was telling it with like her whole heart, tears coming down of her face, just us two sitting in the living room. So I just knew that that was something so real and her happiness and joy was just so contagious to me that we're just both sitting on the couch, just crying. Um, and this had happened a couple weeks after my mom had passed. So she had been going to church and we had been going with her. It was, it was different because it was all in Spanish and so I would understand like little bits and pieces of it, but I never really understood it until I had felt like Jesus with me and I knew that that was what she was passionate about and I felt like the connection between us when I started understanding what like the Bible was saying and what it meant. It was just very touching that this had all happened in those few weeks in that moment.